this is the mock interview series and with me i have jamin patel and in this interview uh, jamin will be the interviewer and i'll be the candidate okay and if you are really enjoying this series make sure you subscribe the channel this will boost our confidence as well if you are an existing subscriber make sure you press the bell icon all right so let's get started uh, so hi jamin how are you i'm good anish how are you thank you thank you so much yeah so rajesh uh, my today's questions are on fire okay okay my first question okay. is what is the difference mm -hmm. between firewall drop and deny action so usually although in the current environment in the current situation uh, mostly uh, administrator prefer to have drop the difference is basically deny is, is block the traffic block the traffic and send the message to the source as well indicating that the connection is not allowed okay on the other hand drop uh, action simply discard the packet without sending any response back to the source so while both the action prevent the traffic from reaching the destination but deny action provides a feedback about what happened uh, i mean not really what happened but uh, indicating that connection is not allowed while drop action will silently uh, discard the packet without saying anything so yeah that's the difference okay yeah. so uh -huh. when you will prefer to use deny and when you will prefer drop so let's say a deny is often uh, it it's often used uh, when when there's a there's a need to communicate to the sender that their connection attempt was explicitly blocked such as in case of policy violation or unauthorized access attempt so this is good for the internal users who want to access some unauthorized sites or websites or uh, applications as well this can help also the administrator or maybe the user to troubleshoot and get better feedback but drop action is good on the external facing uh, policies if you if you have um, if you want to make sure if anybody is trying to access the firewall or maybe sending any uh, unwanted traffic to the firewall i should immediately drop it where i need a completely stealth and uh, minimum visibility is required so blocking known malicious traffic or or any reconnaissance traffic coming in from the external side in those situation i'll be using the drop action so yeah okay then mm -hmm. uh, rajnish what are some security challenges of using deny versus versus drop action in firewall configuration well the security there are some challenges there are some security challenges and there are some generic challenges as well in a way when you when you force the firewall to uh, send the message back by using the deny uh, method deny um, uh, policies in that case you actually you know your firewall consume more network resources firewall has to generate response packet to inform the sender that their connection attempt was denied so this creates an additional uh, overhead on onto the overall firewall performance right so especially when you have a high traffic environment on the other side drop actions are more resource friendly resource efficient since you don't have to discard pack you don't uh, you simply have to discard the packet without generating any response on the other hand when if by mistake you create you send the information on the external facing uh, user request who might be a potential threat so he might get some additional information about the firewall as well so we have a performance related challenges but we also have a security related implication as well so yeah yeah got it so this uh, yeah. this is all i have for today thank you thank you so much jamin now it's time for a detailed explanation let me share all right so in this screen this is the 40 gate firewall and um, 
I'll show you the monitor tab where we can view the logs. So we can go to the logs and report. In, in, the, in this, we have a forward traffic. Uh, you can see these are the traffic which has been allowed and accepted so far. So what we can do is we can apply a certain filter to see what are the traffic being dropped or denied. Dropped or denied. Okay. Result, value, deny. You see, we don't have a uh, drop in this case. So this is most likely a drop. I and mean, in this situation, we just have a drop. Okay, I wasn't knowing it. So this is the drop action. So you can see, sorry, this is the deny action. Sorry, getting confused. Yeah. So you can see this has been blocked by, blocked malicious by 40 EDI. You see this? But uh, this is policy violation on the EDI side, okay? And this is the drop action. Similarly, in case if you have configured drop action as a drop action, you can apply the filter accordingly. Now it depends on firewall to firewall and organization to organization as well. In the current trend, um, we don't on the firewall side we don't really configure deny a lot. Although you have a deny, but it it might refer to the drop action. So I then understand the difference from the functionality purpose. If you want to inform to the users or you want you don't want to inform to the real users to the source okay that's the purpose and that's how you can apply a filter and get the idea what is the kind of traffic you see all right so i hope this was useful thank you so much for watching